Hi everyone, Caitlin from The Huck at Home here, and we are back with our sourdough series. Today, we are going to talk about the essentials of what you need to start your sourdough journey. So in order to start making sourdough, there are some things that you will definitely need to have on hand and to utilize, and it's good to know that before you jump in full force. So one of the main things that you will definitely need to start your sourdough journey is you will need a sourdough starter. So if you do not have one, you can ask around and see if someone you know is able to share theirs with you. Um, the discard from sourdough, which we will discuss, it can actually be used to create another starter. So you can do it that way, or you can choose to make your own sourdough starter. That is another option. It does take some time. It takes about two to three weeks to make a starter. Mine took about three weeks and it's just a lengthy process. So if you can find somebody who would love to share with you, I highly suggest doing that. So next we're gonna jump in with the, the essential things that I use when I started my sourdough journey. So the things that I absolutely suggest is a Dutch oven. Like I said before in my last video, the Dutch oven makes a huge difference in making your sourdough. And so it causes a better rise. It allows your bread to be trapped with the steam. And so this is probably the most expensive thing you'll buy to start your sourdough journey, but it is a wonderful pan. I've used the same one for three years and it costs around 40 to $50. So it's a great buy. Next up, you will need a bowl to mix your bread in. And so that is definitely an essential to have. And then for mixing, I like having a whisk and a spatula. There are fancy sourdough whisks that you can get nowadays. I do not have one of those. They are not essential, but if you want one, go ahead and get one. I would say that sounds great. Next, what you will need are proofing bowls. As you can see here, these ones have a cover and the, the bowls themselves are made of wood and so the cover goes on them you line it with flour and that's what you will proof your sourdough in another option if you don't want to jump in with proofing bowls is to take a large bowl like this one line it with a tea cloth and then sprinkle the flour on that that's actually how i started my sourdough journey i didn't know if i was going to love it as much as i do and so i started with just a bowl with a tea cloth in it and then when i realized how much i loved it i invested in my proofing bowls and one more thing about your proofing bowls so for your proofing bowls i actually learned this recently i didn't know this you want to store them unstacked in a space where they're going to get a lot of ventilation so for my proofing bowls i actually store them on top of my refrigerator just like this side by side i store them there it is a great space to have them they're easily accessible the next thing that you will need is a bench scraper the bench scraper allows you to pick up and move your sourdough as need be and so it is a great thing to have and it's just great to have in your kitchen in general so two other things I would say are essentials in starting your sourdough journey are just two very simple things, either a wooden spoon or chopsticks to stir your sourdough starter. It is best to not stir it with metal. And then the other one would be a kitchen scale. So this is gonna be beneficial for when you're feeding your starter and if you wanna do a recipe where the ingredients are weighed but I wouldn't say you 100% need this. I'm gonna give you a few little tricks that will help you along the way if you do not have a kitchen scale, but they're rather inexpensive and most people tend to just have one on hand. But if you don't, there will be little ways and little tricks and tips I'm gonna show you along the way to help you. And then one of the last things that you will need is you will need either what's called a bread lame or just a really sharp knife. So this is gonna be used to score your sourdough so that way you get a good rise. Eventually, we'll get into fancy designs and all of those things, but that's not for today. So these are two of my bread lanes. This one is more of a classic look. As you can see, it's more straight up and down. And then this is called a uh, um, UFO bread lane because it looks like a UFO. And as you can see, it has a really sharp razor in it and you use that to score your sourdough. All of these things I will have linked down below so that way you can easily click on them and find all of the things that you need to start your sourdough journey. So all of these I would say along with measuring cups and measuring spoons which I assume you have in your home already 
those are the things that you will need to start your sourdough journey. So I hope once you get these things gathered, you will come back for the next video and learn how to feed your starter and how to then make bread and we can learn to make sourdough together. And thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope that you will like and subscribe to this channel and you'll come back and watch more and join me for more sourdough videos.